Zamparelli on the front of the grid, the light blinks red, engine notes rise, we go racing, good start made by Gino Zamparelli, slow start by Dan Harper from the second row, a really brave start by newcomer Valentin Asclo in the yellow and white car who storms through from the fourth row of the grid and he gains ground, look to go to fourth place on the run into Richards for the first time, that was a very good getaway indeed, now everybody tiptoes round trying to find where the grip levels are, so far, so good. Valentin Asclo, newcomer, is doing a great job there, up into third place. Alinas goes back up into fourth at the expense now of Dan Harper. So Dino Zamparelli then leading the way and still lapping quicker than anybody in sectors as he tries to push and build this gap. He's being helped a little by the squabbling going on behind, just delaying the drivers. And there, Asclo round the outside of Plato to try and get second as they went through Hamilton. Now, did it pay off? Let's see, that's Jamie Orton for JTR going through. But let's have a look and see who is second. He's done it. Asclo has gone through. So Valentin Asclo up into second place, down to third is Plato. Fourth is Elinas, and he is under huge pressure now from Dan Harper. This is a brilliant battle for second place. Now uh, Dan Harper through and Elinas through on Plato. Well, Harper's got past Elinas and Plato. So Lewis Plato going backwards. This is up towards the timing line. Zamparelli leads up into second. Then now it is Dan Harper side by side for third. Back. Just ahead, Lewis Plato ahead of Tio Elinas. Behind them, look, you've got uh, Tom Wrigley as they dive down towards Riches. And that's Asclo off the road. Valentin Asclo, after a tremendous debut, is in the tyres coming out of Riches. So now, Harper is second. Malheureusement, Valentin Asclo, Arrette. And of course, a safety car would be the worst possible thing for Dino Zamparelli because that gap he's built up will disappear instantly. Here, Jamie Orton versus Seb Perez for the lead in Pro Am. Seb Perez round the outside for the first part of the old S's. Gets the place on the inside for part two. Richard Hawken really enjoying life in Carrera Cup and he's defending as well here from Gary Eastwood. Harper is second, Lewis Plato is third, Tio Elinas fourth, Tom Wrigley fifth, George Gamble sixth. Here they all are in a line, coming now up towards the hairpin at Wilson. So, as there, whoops, contact, Richard Hawken into the back of Gary Eastwood and past the pair goes Dan Kirby and off the road goes Gary Eastwood. Goes harvesting, he'll get back onto the circuit, loses more places and up the inside comes Fraser Robertson. And the rain is falling once again, we understand. Now Dino Zamparelli leads the way, off the road and back on again is Richard Hawken. More drivers with their wipers on, Richard Hawken versus Fraser Robertson, side by side, Fraser on the outside. We've seen him spinning this year, we've seen him rolling, but now he's doing a great job of defending. But the one thing we are sure of is this is an absolutely stunning drive by Dino Zamparelli for Redline Racing. He comes through to win round nine of Carrera Cup GB here at Snatterton. Dino Zamparelli scores victory, his third of the season. A great drive by Dino Zamparelli to win race one. And then we wait and wait and wait for anybody to be second. Dan Harper should do it. Third, Plato. Fourth, Alinas. Fifth, Wrigley. And sixth, George Gamble. Round nine of Porsche Carrera Cup GB. Won by Dino Zamparelli from Dan Harper and Lewis Plato. Fourth goes to Theo Elinas from Tom Wrigley and George Gamble with Jamie Orton seventh. Seb Perez eighth ahead of Dan Vaughan and then Justin Sherwood to round out the top ten. For this race, Tom Wrigley, a winner this year, starts on pole position. Lewis Plato with him at the front, ahead of Theo Alinas and Dan Harper, with Dino Zamparelli on row three. George Gamble for company. Make the best start as we go racing. It's not Dan Harper who bogs down and gets mugged by George Gamble. Tom Wrigley makes a decent start. Lewis Plato tries to go with him on the outside line, down towards Riches. But Tom Wrigley has the inside line. Lewis Plato keeps on coming. Who's going to come out ahead? It's Wrigley on the inside line, up towards Wilson on the outside line. 77 is Plato. Third is Tio Alinas as they hit the brakes for the hairpin and Wrigley it is who takes over the race lead. That was brave stuff by both through the first corner. But, and look, there is Asclo on the inside line of Peter Kyle Henney. Kyle Henney started 12th, Asclo is ahead of him and he started 23rd. Overtaking skills, I suspect now, are being displayed nicely. And a replay here on board with Esme Hawkey of a very busy first lap and Richard Hawken being tagged into that spin by Dan Kirby. And Hawkey just avoids Hawken, that was close. Very good. Here is the challenge being made by Fraser Robertson against Steve Gales, who gets muscled out wide and then whoops, has a big old lose across the grass. There's lots of runoff there into that final corner of the lap and therefore loses a little bit of time. Let's see, over the timing line they will come. Six tenths has become 0 0.341 of a second and Plato does the fastest lap. Yeah, he closed up and uh, used the toe nicely there, did Plato. Well, here's the move I think we're going to see from Zamparelli. Yes, look, uh, 
well found, guys, and uh, it was a nice, clean move for Zamparelli. So Harper's has gone round the outside. Is he going to make this? This is a great move. He does, and he gets the car stopped and turned. That was a great move by Harper because he dummied Gamble into defending and then breaking early. The fastest lap of the race done by Dino Zamparelli. He is over a second faster than the two ahead of him. It's going to be three for the lead suit. Ten, so this is for the Am lead. Peter Carlheny tries to squeeze up the inside of Peter Mangian. Can't do it. And Dan Kirby, what is right there behind was Peter Mangian, and now at the inside goes Carl Henning, it's going to end contact, Dan Kirby might suddenly find himself second or even in the lead, let's see, he's right there with them, the two Peters lean on each other going through the hairpin at Wilson on the inside line for turn three will be Peter Mangian, and here comes Kirby up the inside, gets a face full of Carl Henning, can't find a way through though. Well, they just about got away with that, didn't they? In a driving standards flag this time was Plato, Zamparelli, Elinas and Harper. Second, third, fourth, fifth are absolutely together. And here comes Harper up the inside line. Through Bonhol, he's level now with the Cypriot driver, Tio Elinas. He's going to go through. Yes, job done. The rest are closing, but not enough and not in time. Tom Wrigley will win now round 10 of Porsche Carrera Cup Great Britain as he crosses the line eight tenths ahead of Lewis Plato. Dino Zamparelli takes third ahead of Dan Harper and Tio Alinas is fifth. Tom Wrigley wins round 10 of Carrera Cup Great Britain. Lewis Plato second and then Dino Zamparelli takes third. Fourth goes the way of Dan Harper from Tio Alinas. George Gamble sixth and a great drive from the very back of the grid to seventh. Valentin Asclo eighth. Jamie Orton to win in Pro-Am from Seb Perez and then Dan Vaughan in tenth place.